I've been getting a lot of questions about whether the LSAT Flex is harder than the regular five-section in-person LSAT. And the answer is no, but also it depends. The content of the exam is not any different in terms of difficulty. Logic games, logical reasoning, and reading comprehension are all the same difficulty level as a whole. LSAC has confirmed this. What has changed, though, is the experience of taking the LSAT. The LSAT is no longer a five-section exam. The LSAT Flex specifically is a three-section online exam. So depending on whether you want to do three sections or five sections, that could affect things. If endurance was an issue for you with the in-person LSAT, then a shorter three-section exam where you're done in two hours is probably preferable. Another thing is that the regular in-person LSAT had two logical reasoning sections the online LSAT only has one logical reasoning section. And LSAC has confirmed that all questions will be weighted the same on the online LSAT flex, which means that logical reasoning has gone from being half of the exam to being only one third of the exam, both in its content as well as in its weighting. So not a huge difference there, except depends. Are you strong in logical reasoning or are you strong in logic games and reading comp? If you're stronger in logical reasoning, you might find the online LSAT flex harder because it doesn't play to your strengths to the same extent. Alternatively, if you like logic games and reading comprehension more, if those play to your strengths more, then the online LSAT flex would be easier for you and that it would be easier for you to get a higher score on that exam. Another consideration is the location. As I mentioned, the in-person LSAT is at a testing center. You've got proctors walking around. You've got other test takers in the same place as you. And so if you would find that distracting or anxiety provoking or producing, then you might prefer to do it at home. Alternatively, if your home environment has lots of distractions or if the internet connection is shaky, then that might lead you to have a less than optimal experience at home. And you might find the in-person LSAT to be easier for you. Same goes for if you don't have a suitable device at home, then in-person where they provide the device could be a better option for you. So just some considerations there. At the moment, speaking now in early May, the June LSAT has been rescheduled as an LSAT flex. The July LSAT, it's looking fairly likely that will also be rescheduled as an LSAT flex. So depending on when you're taking the LSAT, you might want to push it back or not to give yourself the environment and testing situation that best suits you and best plays to your strengths. LSCC has also confirmed that the LSAT flex will be scored on a scale of 120 to 180. Even though it will have fewer questions, they will adjust the raw score conversions accordingly, and law schools will treat all LSAT flex scores the same as in-person test scores. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them, and feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.